Hello guys, this is Michael and I'm going to show to you how to solve an integration problem using the integration by parts. Like for this example. We have here an example we're going to find the integral of this expression using the integration by parts. So we have here the example p minus the integral of v du. So we need to find from this expression our u. So we need to let x squared as our u. So let u equals x squared. So since x squared is our u, is our u, we need to find the derivative of x squared which is 2x dx. So that will be our du. So how about our dv? So our dv, since this is our u, our dv is e to negative x dx. So since this is our dv, our v now is e to the negative x. So, since we already have the following, exp uh, following expression to be substituted for this formula uv and v du, so we're going to start now our integration by parts. First, we need to write our u. Our u which is x squared. So, uv, we have here x squared and our v is e to negative x minus Finding the integral of R V, R V is e negative to negative x multiplied to our d u. Our d u is 2x dx. So this is the transformation of the problem from the given formula u v minus the integration of v d u. So since we have already this expression, let's start simplifying now. So we need to copy our u v which is x squared e to negative x minus 2. Why minus 2? Because as we recall on our previous formula, the integration of a constant multiplied to the function dx is also equals to the constant outside the integ integral sign or the integration of function dx. So that's why we make 2, we set, set aside 2 or we move 2 outside the integration sign. So again, x squared e to negative x minus 2 the, and finding the integral of our v which is e to negative x, x dx. So by simplifying, we have here now the answer which is x squared e raised to negative x minus 2x multiplied to e raised to negative x plus 2 e raised to negative x plus c. So we need to rearrange this expression by factoring it out. So we need to move out the common, uh, common um, terms from every term of this polynomial. So we have here, we have common, which is e raised to negative x, e raised to negative x, and e raised to negative x. That's why we need to move it out. So for the expression to become positive, we we move also the yeah. sign, the sign outside, the uh, negative sign. So that's why we have the common term which is e raised to negative x in a negative form. So we have here the answer, negative e raised to negative x multiplied to x squared from that one plus 2x from this one and plus 2 from that term. So x squared plus 2x plus of finding the integral of x squared e raised to negative x dx. That's all and thank you for watching.